Good evening. This is Luke Thomas. I'm pushed here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 9.58 in the evening, 9.58 p.m. Sunday, January 30th, 2022. 9.58 p.m. Sunday, January 30th, 2022. And let's take a look at the uh, forecast for California, Japan, Greece. Let's see what we got here. All right. So... This was the peak that we were concerned about. And we had some forecast maps out. And I think what we'll do is we'll, if the graphs are showing what's going on better than the, uh, the forecast maps, we'll stick with the graphs. Or if the maps are showing the forecast better, we'll use those. But for now, we're gonna kind of use both. So here was the peak on the 27th, uh, the 26th, 27th, and 28th that we were worried about. And on that peak early in the morning, we had a 3.5 southeast of Coalinga and northwest of Los Angeles, exactly where we said it was gonna hit, uh, close to the San Andreas Fault and the Garlock Fault. And here's where that hit. Here's the San Andreas is right here near Fraser Park. And this is the Garlock Fault coming down here. And that's where that quake hit right there, 3.5 and then 2.8, 2.6, that 3.5 was on this spike and risk here on the morning of the 27th. All right, well, this morning we had, at around 10 o'clock this morning, we had a 4.1 earthquake in Southern California. And that was this spike and risk right here, around 10 in the morning on the 30th. That was at 4.1 near Palomar Observatory. And you can see it was showing up in uh, Los, Los Angeles graph forecast as well, but. You can see this one was a little bit more risk on this one in the El Centro Salton Sea forecast graph. And uh, you can see here the, the 3.5 that hit closer to Coalinga is much higher than the El Centro forecast because it hit closer to Coalinga. That's the way it should work. All right, so here's another spike in risk coming up tomorrow morning on the 31st in the Salton Sea area. So this, uh, this spike in risk on the 31st uh, tomorrow on Monday should uh, produce about a 4.5 near the Salton Sea, uh, between a 4.0 and 4.6 on this one. And then a much larger and stronger spike in risk is coming up on February 1st. February 1st is on Tuesday. Tuesday, February 1st, this strong spike in risk here um, will hit in uh, Southern California. Now we're looking at the data, the spike in risk on the, uh, on the 27th, this one here was strongest in Coalinga, the spike in risk, and the risk level was a 10.9 variance uh, in Coalinga. And then on the spike in risk on the 30th, this, Overall variance was 10.59 and was higher than Coalinga was 6.9. So then you can see that it's the highest risk would be uh, down near the Salton Sea uh, on this spike in risk. And this next spike in risk here is also showing up on the Los Angeles forecast as well. So it could hit anywhere in Southern California, but this spike in risk right here in the Salton Sea area the variance level on the 31st is 11.59. And uh, in Coalinga, it's 10.3. So it looks like we get uh, this spike in risk will produce a quake near the Salton Sea. But also, there's a spike here near Coalinga. So both of those uh, areas could get a significant earthquake in Coalinga and El Centro. And then coming up on the on the uh, 1st of November, the variance is, is a huge variance at 16.49. The 10.59 variance produced that uh, 4.1 in Southern California. This one is a 16.49 variance. And Coalinga, the variance is at 12.5. So it's the second highest risk in California is in Coalinga. So we should get some action in Coalinga and down near the Salton Sea, the highest risk is near the Salton Sea at 16.49 variance. 
So we're looking for a very, uh, well, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely near the Salton Sea on February 1st, where the variance is the highest. And the second highest risk in California is near Coalinga. So both of those areas should, should produce a significant earthquake and El Centro should get the biggest quake on uh, February 1st. But tomorrow on this spike in risk, we should get something in Southern California, about between a 4.3 and 4.5 should hit near the salt and sea on this spike in risk right there. <laughs> All right, well, we'll try to uh, get the graphs for the other areas of, of, of Japan and uh, Greece tomorrow. But for now, you can see the risk is right near Tokyo on this uh, forecast map. And then on the 1st and the 2nd of February, the risk is right there near Chiba and Tokyo. And you can see we just got a uh, 4.3 earthquake just east of Tokyo, right in this area. And that's where the risk is right now in uh, Japan. All right, and the Greece forecast looks like uh, a significant earthquake is coming up on February 1st and the 2nd here in Northwest Turkey, just south of Istanbul. Uh, and also that risk extends down into East Central Greece. And we'll have more details on this uh, tomorrow. All right, once again, looking for about a 4.3 to 4.5 earthquake near the Salton Sea tomorrow morning. And then a much stronger earthquake, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely near the Salton Sea on uh, Tuesday, February 1st. Um, Koalinga's risk is also, uh, the second highest risk is in Koalinga, where both of these peaks should produce a significant earthquake. And the strongest earthquake will hit on uh, February 1st and uh, could hit anywhere in California, but most likely down near the Salton Sea, where the risk is the highest at a various level at uh, 16.49. So that's where this quake should hit on February 1st. Always trying to make improvements here at quakeprediction.com. Thank you to the 187,000 followers, 17 years of research, and we keep making improvements, whether it's maps or graphs. We try to keep you informed with what's going on in those four different areas, Japan, Greece, Alaska, and California. And right now it looks like a very strong earthquake is coming up on February 1st near the Salton Sea. So be prepared for that. We'll keep you informed. And we will talk to you again, uh, most likely tomorrow, but uh, if not tomorrow, then uh, tomorrow night. We'll talk to you again tomorrow sometime. Thanks so very much, and we'll uh, stay safe.